Welcome back, players and trainers. I hope you guys are enjoying the All-Star Weekend so far. Uh, welcome back, or welcome, who knows. I think it is welcome back, if I'm not mistaken by now. All right, so this matchup, we have Team Slong and Team Medium Slong. Who's repping who? I'm gonna let you give you like five seconds to guess. You probably know by now. But Blaze will be rocking Team Long Slong. And Jack will be rocking Team Medium Slong. So, Jack's got a pretty powerful team, man. He's got that Whimsicott. He's got Mega Absol. And along that, he has some bulk with Registeel. He has Cresselia. He's also rocking with a Tyrantrum. And he's rocking with Entei. So, that's some pretty pretty powerful, well-balanced team, if you ask me. And then, Blaze is going to be rocking with Hundoom. He's going to be rocking with non-Mega. Remember, just regular Mega um, Hundoom. He's going to be rocking with the... Flygon, Tapu Koko, Tapu Koko's a beast, Uxi, that's our boy Uxi, regular Blastoise as well, and then a Mil Tank. Um, so on paper, just right off the bat, it kind of looks like Jack's team is more powerful, but don't underestimate Ryan, don't underestimate Blaze, because he's, dude, he's got, he's got skills, he's got skills indeed. So let's see how this battle turns out. So remember, Jack will be team medium schlong blazes team long schlong and the results of every single battle will be down below in the link in the doc guys so i hope you guys go check that out as jack is gonna get the advantage here and lead off with a the the fairy type against a dragon type so that's really really nice on him uh Uxi should have been the better lead oh momentum already get that pivotal u-turn off very very clutch but i don't think he can bring in anything that Uxi can't take there's nothing he can bring in. Congrats. All right. Congrats. He has now revealed Lefty, so he could be a Cobra Bray. And if he gets off a U-turn here, I think... I've done U-turns to Mega Assholes before, and it's about, if I'm not mistaken, a 50... I think it's like the 50% off damage. And he's going to make a hard read and go for a play rough. Oof reflect interesting indeed it might be a light clay set so that reflex is gonna help out to survive right yep u-turn u-turn or a light screen he's gonna u-turn that should do about 50 percent if i'm not mistaken yep it did a little over 50 percent he can bring in a scarfer he can bring in coco if you're bringing in coco and just u-turns again that would be perfect it'd be phenomenal or vault switch he could vault switch. He doesn't have any ground types. But let's see here. Um, and the reflect is up, which is super nice because it, it just is. It just is. Uh, Cresselia is going to come in. He is going to be a U-turn set as well. So there's going to be a lot of momentum going on here. Um, had had Blaze got enough rocks, it would have been a little bit better, but that's fine. As I think he might try to get off rocks now, or he might have toxic. Who knows? Um, one of the two. He has knockoff. Okay, okay. That's a good set. I like it. I like it. U turn um, and stuff like that. So combine. Oof. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Why? I don't know why I said that. But hmm, interesting indeed here. Uh, I'm not sure what he can, does. He have no. He's gonna go for a light screen. Um, so that's his four moves. Knock off, reflect, light screen, and thing. So he's going to keep calm mining up here. I don't like when Cresselia calm mines up. I just don't, don't like it indeed. Um, not sure he has anything here. Uh, maybe a Dragon Tail Blastoise or a... That did nothing. That did nothing. You can clearly, you can, like, for sure, for sure, you can say Cresselia is a fat duck like seriously one of the fattest substitute Ooh, if blastoise gets to it gets access to roar moonlight calm mind he might have psychic and moon blast maybe maybe but it's already looking like this crusade is gonna be a bit of a threat Ooh, haze. Oh, all that hard work, man. All that hard work gone for no reason. Oh, 
Well, players and trainers, sit back, relax, because uh, this battle is going to take a while. All right, so our first reflect is gone. I think next turn, since the light screen's on, the light clay is gone, he might lose the light screen. Um, that is doing nothing. And that is not an assault best set. So I'm actually, it's a, it's a leftovers. This crest is not gonna be able to do anything. He's not. Not anything indeed. Yeah, it might break the sub, but that's about it. If it doesn't break the sub, this thing is extremely fat. Okay, it does. Um, yikes, man. Um, he needed Toxic. That's all I can say, man. Yep, he does have it, but he just... Avoids it. Come on, it's like, it doesn't even affect him. So even if he had not clicked Substitute there, it would have never connected. Oh my god. Wait. All he has to do is go into Hundu, right? No, he, he has Moonblast. I wasn't paying attention. Was it Psychic or Moonblast? I think it was Moonblast, right? I think it was. I, I'm pretty sure it was Moonblast. The movie clicked. Yeah, that is Moonblast. So... This is what happens when you record them live. You should have pre-recorded this with a squid so we can fast forward and stuff like that, but that is fine, ladies and gentlemen. You have nowhere to be. We have nowhere to be. But, I can tell you this much. If someone doesn't switch in with the next 10 turns, we're gonna have a problem. We are gonna have a problem indeed. Actually, you guys can cast for it. I have to watch this live. Okay. All right. Well, good thing, good thing YouTube allows you to double times the speed and stuff like that. Or you can skip ahead. Finally. Okay. So he is going to withdraw out. I called it within the next 10 turns. It's going to scald here. Haze. Haze. Ooh. Jack is getting inside of Ryan's head, man. He's getting inside of Blaze's head. Um, I'm not sure what this Whimsicott wants to do. Like, seriously, I'm not sure if it wants the energy ball. I'm not sure if it wants to U-turn again. So have Elite Seed. If so, Hundum was a switching. Toxic. Yep, Elite Seed was the... I mean, Hundum was a switching. But this is completely fine, I think, because... This gives Coco a lot of momentum. Maybe. Maybe. For a second, I thought he was going to Brave Bird. This should do 50%, right? It does barely 50%. Barely. But it's good chip damage. Like, it's good chip damage on this this mod. Um, not sure 100% what he can bring in that would be intimidating enough. Unless it's a Scarf Entei like this one. With Boltos? Boltos, maybe? Or Secret Fire. If it's Secret Fires, then Hundoom is going to eat it up for days. He's gonna hard switch out. I think it was better to scout if he was scarfed. No, you have a thick fat mill tank for a reason. A thick fat mill tank burn. I think it's a hundred percent. So that's nice. No, it's fifty percent. Is it hundred percent? It's one of the two. It is one of the two. I can look this up. Sacred Fire. Seismic Toss. Okay. Good. Good thing he didn't go for rocks. He did. It's a good thing he did not go for rocks there. I think he has to sack Oopsie here. I think he has to. So that way he gets momentum. He does not sack the Oopsie. I think that's a bad call. I think that is a horrible call right there. 
He could have. He could have superpowered or anything. He could have superpowered anything. Uh, no, it's a fifty percent chance to burn. So a nice little Jacko here got a nice little burn when he did. So once again, I think well, he can slowly win this war. He slowly is winning. But another crit won't help. Like, seriously. Uh, okay, we're just gonna keep clicking milk drink and we're gonna keep clicking, uh. Alrighty then. You know, if this app still had Swords Dance, that would be pretty much GG. For the most part. Alright, so he's finally gonna go for, uh, for the last move here. Uh, like, Miltank can milk drink up once more when, like, against the Entei. Like, seriously, if you get it clean against the Entei, uh, I can guarantee you to live. Any hit. So, HP is max, is bulk X. No. Wait, what? HP is bulk X. It's gonna go for the head smash, and it's gonna connect. <sighs> Jack loves his head smashes, man. He really does love going for head smash. So... PIA indeed. My question is, is it scarfed? If it is scarfed, the best switching was Flygon? Flygon resists it. LDO champ? That is not an LDO champ. That looks nothing like an LDO champ. Nothing. I know Registeel is pretty wally though, and Cresselia is still around, so he can't click free. He cannot click Earthquake for free. But Uxie comes back out. Is it to get off another knockoff? Question mark? Jack is rocking Team Medium Slong, right? Is that? Yeah, he is. And then, okay, so then Ryan. Uh, and that is going to be thing. So Jack is currently five and five up. Five, four? Five, up uh, five, four? Yes, up five, four. Earthquake is going to come off. How much damage is that going to do? Probably like 60 to 70%. Yeah, 60 to 70%. Probably 60%. More 60 than 70. Um, it's going to click that seismic toss. Get that chip damage as Crystalia comes in. Does not. He's going to sack this. Okay, good. All right, so we are tied 4 4. It is not a clear cut winner. It is not. Crit. Obviously, it does not matter, but who knows? Who knows? Okay, that's that's nonsense. All right, so hooray to these nicknames. These nicknames are just, I don't know. Uh, he's going to get a U-turn off again, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. Um, hopefully, no, he's going to Giga Drain this turn. Okay, finally, no pivotal moments. I think any player, either player right now could have benefited from rocks. Uh, or any entry hazard but it's not necessary but i'm pretty sure either one could have benefited just a little bit just a tad bit he's gonna go for flamethrower it is a scarf hundoom so that is nice to know indeed as it's gonna be able to take out the hundoom it's gonna be able to take out the hundoom it, what hundoom just took out hundoom no obviously <laughs> it's gonna take out the ones got problem is if this is like a rock no it's not a rock polish set there's no way it's a rock polish set. That's a bad switching. Because he could have taken one of those, right? No, he could not take one of those. Are you, are you serious? I thought Flygon would. It resists. Unless I'm mistaken, then you don't resist. But he is going to Destiny Boy! He has to connect it. He connects it. We're officially at 3-3, guys. We are officially at 3-3 right now, right? No. 3-2. 3-2, right? No. He has Mega Absol, he has Cresselia left, and he has Entei. He does have those three, so it's 3-2. Because all he has is Blastoise and he has Tapu Koko. He can click U-turn here for free, but it's... Ah, <sighs> uh, oh no. 
Wait, no, Uxi's still alive, right? No, Uxi died to Sagan Gatas. So yeah, it is 3-2. Ooh, that was clutch. That was nice. Destiny bonding. No, it's 2-2. Two, two. Who died and I missed it? I probably have some. Not enough. It is not enough. He lives, but the toxic is... <gasps> Does he click the bow? It switches out. Extreme speed! Oh. Okay. Jack can preserve this 2-0 if he switches out. Right? He has a flare blitz. He has to. There's... I think that burn's gonna matter. Yeah, it counters the lefties. That burn is gonna matter. That burn is gonna matter. It's a full HP, Cresselia. Substitute right off the bat. He's slowly gonna dwindle down him. Oh man. And like, substitute, you got like a tremendous amount of PP. Wow, man. What is. Oh my god. What are the. Dude, I'm pretty sure Flare Blitz has like a 10% chance to burn. I'm pretty sure. No! Stinking way. Special attack drop. That's not even gonna break the sub now. It doesn't break the sub, right? It does break the sub. I think actually you can haze that away though. If I'm not mistaken, you can haze away. Yeah, 10% chance to burn with Fuller Boots. Who would have thought? It's not even worth it, man. To tell you the truth, it's not worth it. It is not worth it whatsoever. But man, I think 100% the the right play was if Ryan had swapped down to thing, just kept it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, it depends. I don't know how much you do to a, a Finny. I mean, Cresselia, right? Tapu Coco was a Thunderbolt. Let me see. Um, let me see. Top of Coco. One of these guys has to go away, go home with a 1-0 win, but obviously we can see. Unless he has, like, rest, and we just don't know it. Well, actually, Scald, Haze, Scald. I'm missing a move, am I? Am I missing a move that he's probably revealed? If it's rest, then so be it. So be it, indeed. Uh, Top of Coco versus Cresselia. If it's a physically defensive set, because it does have combine. Thunderball was only doing 33%, like 33 to 39. And he was very, very low. There was no way. Yeah. Alright, so that's gonna be GG. Seriously guys, that's gonna be GG. Look, it's it's just oh, man, 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 oh man, oh man. Uh even though I do like okay, I know a little bit of the hack stacked up against Blaze at the end there, but this was a pretty good game. Like, just the in between when they, <laughs> we, did, we didn't have so much stall going on was pretty awesome. But I think uh, two big keys had Miltank stayed alive a little bit longer would have been like if he had sacked Uxie instead of taking that knockoff when he did with Miltank, we would be having a much, much more different game um, as. Actually, I don't even think Seismic Toss breaks his subs. I don't even think, because he has 227 HP. Like, it doesn't even break the sub. Does it? It doesn't. Wow. Okay, maybe. I'm not sure then. I clearly don't know my Pokemon. Interesting enough. Okay. Well then. We just need to see a couple of moon blasts here, and it's GG, right? A couple moon blasts, and it's GG. Couple meaning two. 
Yep, that is GG. A crit and a special. That <laughs> <I> just. <laughs> Regardless, I, I don't think I don't think um, there was much that could have happened. Not much could have happened unless unless I'm not sure. No, there's there was nothing at the end there that could have made the difference here. But yo, know, good games to both players to Ryan and Jack. Who it came down to the last mod. It came down to the last mod. And Team Medium Shlong is going to take a 1-0 victory on this one. So players and trainers, once again, info is going to be down below. This is probably our longest video, 20 minutes. All the other ones were about 10 minutes long. So I'm not going to talk any much longer. Um, with that said, players and trainers, you guys are amazing. Stay blazing. Catch you guys in the next video. Link will be down below for the, uh, the, the doc. You guys want to see where do we stand so far with All-Star Weekend. Who's taking the lead, who's not? We'll find out. Let's find out.